the composition of the cortical column, uh, the cell densities, layers, uh, cell types, and the distributions of them really in the cortical column. And uh, on this poster we show what data sets we actually use to uh, come up with the composition of the cortical column in these aspects. This definition is really based on uh, functional properties of the column. The idea in that is that every cell within one cortical column is able to touch the cell that has the largest reach. So where you would say that uh, functionally the cell that is the biggest is able to interact with smaller cells within its reach. So thereby it gives you a definition of a cortical column or of a column unit that is really scalable to other brain regions dependent on the shape, the extent and size of the biggest morphology in that group. Datasets for cell densis, for example, were a dataset that uh, was uh, gathered in Spain where they have a new technique of looking for cell densities, of better measuring cell densities by actually reducing background staining on cells that would interfere with traditional ways of counting cells. We stain for new N which is a protein that is present only on neuronal cell bodies. And we stain for GABA, which is the inhibitory transmitter. And so if we want to see inhibitory neurons, we need to look for cells that express NUN as well as GABA.